Hello, guys, and welcome to Leo Season. Yay! Hello, and welcome to the channel. I am Marv, and welcome to Regions by Marvelous Madame Tarot. We have we we have soldiered through another month, completed another season. Teary, teary. Cancer season is over. Now here come the lions and the lionesses. Go ahead and take your moment, guys, because it's all about y'all. Right? All right, Leo, let's get down to business. This is going to be your intro video that is going to be at the top of, well, not just Leo, Leo season. Welcome to Leo season. This is going to be the intro. Um, it just helps uh, move things faster and let you guys all hear the exact same information so I don't have to repeat myself 12 times and blah, blah, blah. Um, by the time your video launches, we will go right into the following, your self-care messages. The self-care messages is an integral part of this particular reading. I like to let you, the zodiac sign, know how you're feeling and what you need to do for your own self-care in that particular season. I then go into a comparison from cancer season, in this case, the previous season, into this season to see how they compare. In that comparison, sometimes we find out some interesting situ uh, some interesting information. One, are you getting the same energy? If you are, you're kind of standing in your own way. We highlight that, and I read you the message and let you know how I feel. B, are you crossing with any other zodiac signs? Was there a zodiac sign last in the in the last season that got the same message that you're getting this month? Um, and, and who are they? I'll let you know who they are. Um, how significant are they to your message for this particular month? How significant are they to your self-care, guys? Um, also, um, it's interesting to see where you are overall. That's option C. Sometimes um, it's interesting just to kind of see what energy is moving in and out. We get so caught up in everybody else and their impression of us and this, that, and the third, this self-care messages are designed for me to bring awareness to what we need to deal with individually. In addition to all of these other things that we have going on. And sometimes when you just cross with that, that other individual, that other entity, um, that other Zodiac sign, a lot of the times guys, that means that three Three things. Sometimes you're dealing with that zodiac sign individually, and it, it is a person. It is an actual individual. Sometimes you have it in your chart. Um, I tell you guys, if you are, if I say that you're crossing with a zodiac, and, and that person does, and that energy does not represent a person, do you have it in your chart? Is it in your big three? Where is it, and why is it wreaking havoc for you? Um, go and take a look at your specific chart to see why, you know, that why that energy is there. Do you have that as a uh, prominent energy in your birth chart? Is it in your big three? Is it in your outer planets? Where is it? And then finally, is this a message that spirit is saying that, you know, maybe you need to embody some of the characteristics of that zodiac sign? Maybe that's what you need to do. Either way, we break that down. Um, in addition to the self-care messages for this, their feelings for you, we break down five specific categories and I'll let you know, you know, how they view in you, what they, you know, those type of things. Um, and after we get into their current feelings, their current view, their current actions, um, your feelings, which is always fun. And then the overall energy, um, I give you five additional clarifiers. Those clarifiers could basically... Um, bring to light any additional information on the current energy that's there, just giving us a more broader and richer picture of their feelings for you. So again, in closing, I hope that this Leo season finds you well and in good spirits. I am go going to also sneak in your five card guidance. Um, I typically try to debut that around the first of the, of the, like when the actual month changes from, so we're still in July. So you should expect to see that five card guidance in August. Um, and the reason why that's important is because I want those to be like for the month of August as well as the season. Um, but I'm going to still associate it with the season um, and just kind of let you know where you are. If they come early, that's fine. But that is going to be what we're going to do. I did bring that five card guidance as a bonus in cancer season because I was feeling myself. But here we are. And I think that it is important because I like to be able just to give you five cards and just riff on those cards. You know, it's interesting to see what energies um, 
support each one of those cards, what enforces those cards, what in, what energy would enforce it that didn't show up. It's beautiful to be able to give you those energies. I love to challenge myself like that. And that's that. So we are going to um, close this message out. Thank you so much for watching this intro. Remember, the summer specials are um, still in effect. They do not expire until August the 31st, guys. We have brought back $25 days, which is going to be one day typically at the end of the month. I will broadcast that um, and let you know. Um, when that's available right now, we have one that is scheduled for July 31st, 20 minute readings for $25 with your girl. Um, of course, my tarot services and other things that I offer are all available at www.marvelouswithdam.com, um, as well as a book my tarot services with the crystal ball down in the pen comments, as well as in the description box. Um, on the 27th, of this month, I will be linking the link. Um, well, I will be sharing the link for the August $25 days. I try to do it about seven days prior to the end of the month, the same way we used to do the 11 11 special for my day oneers. Um, and we're doing the same thing. I do not know how many slots we got, we have guys for this July, um, $25 days special. Um, so if you're still interested in that, by the time you see this video, go and check it out. Um, and I'm giving away all sorts of goodies coming up. Um, so just go ahead and continue to, uh, support your girl, like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. And I will see you in your video. Just remember when your video launches, we will go right into your messages. So you don't have to hear this again. Bye guys. Hello, Leo, and welcome. It is your birthday season, so let's go ahead and give you a round of applause. Thank you so much. This is going to be your their feelings for you for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's go ahead and get started. Leo, everything that you need, as I stated, is below in the description box. Let's go into your self-care message for this Leo season. First, you have the card of Authenticity. Live life for you, not for the audience in your head is what you are being guided um, to focus on. So for, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm sorry, guys. Authenticity. So there is a narrative that is in your head, and I do know that this is true, um, that you would that you are that that you're competing for, that you're listening to. Also, negative self-talk that we need to not pay attention to. You're being guided also to reassess. You have the right to change your mind. Was there a mistake or something that you thought um, that kind of goes back to authenticity? Something that you thought, something um, that now ha you have realized has no longer served you, that now needs to be reassessed, now needs to be changed. There is absolutely nothing wrong with changing your mind. You're being guided that you need to reassess something in your life. And finally, your self-care message for Leo season is change course. Okay. A closed door is an invitation from life to move in an even better direction. It is time for you to change course. That is very, very interesting. So it is clear, Leo Collective, that for this birthday season, um, you have a lot of things that you have to focus on as it pertains to your being true to yourself. Where is my website? We're going to move into your who you're crossing with um, from cancer season. If I can get the website up, that will be fantastic. Um, who exactly... And what exactly does this sig signify for you? It seems to be a focus on something, people, places, or things that you have focused your energy on that has probably turned out not to be um, the best choice. Um, but what's really resonating with me is uh, right here, live life for you and not the audience in your head. Is there an audience in your head? Um where that that literally means like your self-talk. So there is things that you want to achieve um, and they are all associated with 
what's going on with what you think people are going to accept um, and what's going on in your head of what you tell yourself you have to do rather than what is actually you're being called to do. And there's something people, person, place, or thing that you have come to this conclusion about. And as a result of that, Leo, you're being guided, obviously, that you need to live your, your life for you, reassess and change course. Who are you crossing with? So with the energy of authenticity, it looks like you are not crossing with anybody, which is beautiful energy. This is a message all your own. Um, for this season, you are obviously being guided to pay attention to the authenticity of your choices, okay? Also, okay, these do not want to stay. Um, reassess, the energy of reassess. Who are you crossing with for cancer season into Leo season? And it looks like this is also an energy all your own, which is beautiful, um, so these are brand new messages for you in your situation, but change course was a very popular card last month. So I know you had to be crossing with someone and yes, you are crossing with a Scorpio in your life, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising or Venus. Um, and that looks like it is it. So how is a Scorpio, sun, moon, rising or Venus, um, um, <clears throat> playing a role in your self care for this particular month? How is that playing out? Um, ask yourself those questions. Let's get into their feelings for you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get down to business with their feelings. Yes, we are still using, all right, the Illuminated Tarot. And it looks like their current feelings right now is the Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords is not necessarily a good card to be depicting feelings because an Eight of Swords is, takes on an energy of having a, a, a mental block. They feel powerless. They feel very restricted. Now, Leo, this not doesn't necessarily have to be mean anything that you have brought to this table. Um, typically, um, the Eight of Swords is a self-imposed fear. Um, they feel restrictions. They feel confused. They feel powerless, okay? Um, and this person cannot be the, see the forest for the trees. Um, they feel that they're restricted by circumstances. Um, they feel that the situation between you guys are impo is impossible. And on top of that, this is the blended card for justice. They want justice on top of that. They can be bitter. They can be feeling a way about this. They want justice. They feel like you need to take responsibility for something um, and that you did not look at all sides of an issue. They feel slighted um, in a way um, by you. Um, justice is obviously legal, uh, pertains to legal matters as well. Um, there is some type of truth that they feel like has not been um, that that has uh, not been revealed, and they don't feel like they have been given their just due. Okay, what is their current view of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is their current view of Leo? What is the view here? How do they view Leo? Ha ha! That explains it. Well, they're viewing you as their queen of cups or they or their king of cups change it as it resonates this individual has so much more love for you leo than they let on and it looks like the reason why they're confused powerless and feeling restricted and one injustice is because maybe you are acting in your authenticity and you did reassess and you did change courses about this situation and that is the reason why they're feeling the way that they're fe they're feeling when they're looking at you their view of you is someone that they love very very much and leo the crazy part about this is is that this is also the blended card for the empress so they would like a brand new start they want another chance um they're feeling slighted okay um, and I just got through feeling that, remember that blended message of, um, the, the, that, that in, interesting energy of the, uh, justice card with the eight of swords. Um, did you go to an extreme? Did you get legal? Did you have to get administrative with this individual? If you did, they are feeling some kind of way. 
they look at you as being very nurturing and very mothering and very spiritual. Um, they look at you as that, but this is also the um, empress here. Um, they want a brand new um, start with you. They want to birth something new. You were everything for them. Um, you were very mothering and nurturing a uh, double time, okay? Um, but, you know, being two halves of the female archetype of the ma a major arcana, this is one half. The other half is the high priestess. So um, this is um, um, motherhood. They look at you as a good mother or father or mother or father figure. Um, and more importantly, they want a brand new, they want a brand new beginning. They want to birth newness between you two. Um, they want to experience the census with you. They want to, um, they, they are in love with you that way. Your sex, your sexy, all of those beautiful things that people want in a relationship. They want it with you. Things got complicated and took a very complicated turn. What are their current actions? Ha, huh, that came right out. The lovers. I don't necessarily like the lovers in an action because the lovers kind of talks about what is. And if you look at the energy of the lover's card, the action that they want to take, okay, and their current actions indicate that they are very much so possibly reaching out to you to maybe guilt you back into a relationship with them. This is, they want to feel love. They want to form a bond. They want to be sexual. Like I said, um, this is also struggling with temptation. And that's why I don't like this. Um, what reinforces this, uh, these two cards together, which is the lovers and the empress is sexual fulfillment. So I know that they definitely miss being intimate with you. They want it back period. Okay, Leo. Wow. Um, that reinforces that um, to the max, okay? Um, this is this is love and sex. This is um, um, the, the bond between man and woman, two women, two men, whatever your bag is. That is what this is about. Um, a relationship that is based upon deep love, the strongest force of all. Um, it's definitely sexual, though. I have to bring that out. Um, and because we, it, what reinforces this energy, obviously is definitely the lovers. I also have to talk about the fact that, um, this could also mean a moral or ethical crossroads when it comes down to struggling with temptation, um, and, um, or refusing to look at the right or wrong or of a situation. Someone is highly sexual, um, and definitely that's what they want. Um, that's not all they want because this lovers is a deep spiritual connection as well, but they want to, what I don't like about the fact that they are feeling this strongly Leo, but they are confused and cause they feel powerless. It's almost as if, and I use the word exploit because I felt that a person that is feeling this deeply but is leading their their leading energy is an eight of swords is not going to understand how they're coming off and they may stoop to tactics that may be not so nice because they can only see what they want this person is not necessarily thinking rationally right now they don't want to feel powerless they go they're going to go out of their way to feel that that they are in control which unfortunately could lead to exploitation and manipulation okay all right. What does Leo feel about this? What does Leo feel about this? Okay. Well, that explains it. So, Leo, it's obvious that you love them back. Um, you guys have been in um, very, very, a very tough situation. You are the more emotional mature out of the two of you. So you could be in an energy where you're like, listen, I'm, I'm okay with this. Your current feelings, you feel powerless. You feel, um, um, you know, uh, helpless and restricted. Um, your, your current view of me is an empress. And if you notice, their view of you is the female counterpart 
of how you feel for them. So I know that you guys have been together or are together, but you've been through other things that has made this love way more complicated. So you're viewing each other. They're viewing you how you feel. Okay. And what's interesting about this King of Cups it, that you feel is that you're telling this person, I, I feel like there are stipulations, Leo. I feel like there are like, listen, I love you. I feel the exact same way and I miss you too. However, we got to work on this. We have to work on the fact that you feel powerless and restricted. You want to control things when you should just be able to let express your love openly and that you're teaching them, Leo, you are, but at what cost? I'm feeling an exhaustion with you. I'm feeling that they're, you, they're coming in and their current feelings being confused. They look at you higher and hold you on the higher. That's why I kept saying nurturing. But you also are teaching them as well. You're more emotionally um, uh, mature than they are. And this looks like it, you're bringing in um, a very um, um, a realistic and adult view of things. Okay, let's flip this over and find out what the overall energy is. And yes, the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. There has been a lot, and I felt it, a lot of energy between you guys. There has been a lot um, of victimization. Um, the, the First of all, this is the Ten of Swords. There has been a lot of betrayal, a lot of swords, okay? The overall energy between the both of you is just, you know, you're feeling like a victim, feeling powerless. You both feel that way. Both of you guys feel like you're you're letting you let the other go first. Both of you guys feel like there has been self sacrifice sacrificing. Both of you guys feel like you're being attacked. But only one of you guys, I'm not gonna say um, you know, who's right or wrong here because the, it looks like you guys are um uh both, you know, not neither one of you guys are without flaw, but I wanna say you are the more emotionally mature out of the two. And this is the energy that they're feeling. They still want justice for what they think you've done. So to me, you, you want this justice, but you're just as guilty. And you, you're taking no responsibility for what the hell you've done. Um, this is also judgment. So there's an education happening behind the scenes. Okay. Um, it's very dark. You guys got to a very, very dark place. Darkest before the dawn is that particular 10 of swords. When we talk about judgment, we talk about a rebirth. We talk about an inner calling. Um, we talk about, you know, justice. It, it's time for justice because these two, they, 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 they reinforce one another. When justice is here, um, we, we are accepting the past mistakes and actions and deciding to do that. This is a decision. When we are in my judgment, we are here where we need to be um, accountable, but we, we're forgiving and we are atoning for our own past mistakes and we are forgiven. Um, I feel that um, it's the same thing. So there has to be a decision to forgive the past and walk into the future. And the question is going to be, are you doing that? So again, the audience in your head may be telling you to do one thing. But what did you reassess about the situation and change course? Did you leave this individual? Did you leave this individual? Let's go ahead and get into your clarifiers. I was the one pretending to be someone else. And that obviously has been an issue secrets and deception that is exactly what has come out there's been a lot of mistakes that has went um that has been done in the past especially with this lover's card i feel you there's obviously a deep connection between you guys with this lover's energy and we have i gave in to temptation absolutely we talked about temptation in this card and it came out i can't make it up i can't make it up I gave in to temptation and this is what they're admitting. And it could have been absolutely devastating for you, Leo. And finally, 
What do we have here? What are what is our final clarifier? I miss you. Your major arcana is the Empress. Your major arcana is um, justice, the Empress, and judgment, and the lovers. All of those major arcana. I was pretending to be someone else. There were secrets and deception. I feel you. I gave in to temptation. I miss you. And I think the world of you. That is their feelings. And that concludes it. Wow. 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 And wow. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I can't even make this up. Everything, again, that you need is below in the description box. I hope you found it enjoyable. Um, drop a like, it's hot in those comments. Leo, you are the star this month. You do not need to um, worry about even being put on the wheel of names because you are first in your, in, in your birthday season. I hope your birthday season finds you well again and in good spirits, and I will see you in your next one. Bye, guys.